I'm Erin Holly, your Padre Island Neighborhood News Reporter here at Mansion Royal, where TxDOT held a public meeting about the North Padre Island Regional Parkway project. There are five proposed routes for a second causeway to and from the island. And TxDOT officials tell me the project is currently in the environmental study phase. It's a project Corpus Christi residents say has been a long time coming. I would be extremely disappointed that if the Yorktown route were chosen, simply because the existing traffic burden that Yorktown carries, let alone what it would be forecast to carry. Right now, there are five options of routes for the proposed regional parkway. It is the most rigorous study that there is for transportation issues. So we're expecting that to take about two years. After those two years of the environmental study, one of the five proposed routes will be chosen. Then will there be another one to three years for utility adjustments, for permitting, for final design, and then after that you've got about five years for construction. While residents are eager for another causeway, some shared concerns at Thursday's meeting. There are just so many things we don't know about each of these potential alternatives. There may be certain factors of topography or land availability, uh, suitability of some of these routes to cross Laguna Madre. While some questions may still be unanswered, residents understand why there's a need for another roadway on and off of the island. The island growth suggests, and it's not done yet, suggests that uh, additional roadways just for day-to-day -day use, let alone to add that resiliency factor so that we can get emergency services to the island. If you missed Thursday's meeting and want to share your input with TxDOT, they're accepting public comment by email, online, and by mail until Friday, October 18th. I'm your Padre Island Neighborhood News reporter, Aaron Holly, Chris 6 News.